Ik denk dan toch even die van de wijs gebracht. Wat een mooi bericht, hè? Godverdomme. Uh, de volgende die zich mag gaan klaarmaken om hier uh, te komen en haar poëzie voor te dragen is Anne Vechter. The next person, ja, nu moet ik even heel denken, we should do everything in English. Anne Vechter. Well, she hardly needs an introduction. She is a very well known poet. One of a kind. Very well published, very sensitive, with a strong community commitment. Among many other things, she was the poet of our nation and of the city of Rotterdam. And now she's here to help Bamba. Anna already was part of Bamba before she even knew it. It turned out Anna's friend, Iranian American translator and poet Soleil Wolpe, is the woman that translated almost all of Samaya's poems to English. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I want to introduce you, Anna, with one of the lines you wrote for the Medea monologues. In haar feitelijke vorm is de geschiedenis ondraaglijk. Herschrijf haar nu, woedend. In haar actual form, history is unbearable. Rewrite her now, furiously. Thank you very, very much, Jenny, for your beautiful introduction. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't start with a poem, but I start like with a little letter to Sumaya. And I need my glasses, excuse me. Oh, the age. Dear all, dear Sumaya, thank you for having me here. Sumaya and I met in a theater in Amsterdam last winter. We appeared, and the only two still did. <laughs> We appear to share a fantastic friend, the American-Iranian translator Shule Volpe, who also was there. Shule Volpe and I met a few months before in Kolkata, India, on a poetry event. Shule told me about her poetry translations of the Iranian radical female poet Farouk Farakzad, so may I mentioned her already whose poems are described as aiming self-expression and democracy, written in a time and at a place with a huge lack of tolerance, especially faced by women that longed for democracy. A Dutch female composer, Huba, would make an opera about Farouk Sat, Scholle told me, but no shit. This Huba, I worked with her for years in Holland, And next, Shole appeared also to be the excellent translator of your work, Somaya. And then we met, you and I. It was like what we say in Dutch, the circle was rond. The circle was perfect, the perfect circle. Both you and Shole left your countries, Iran and Afghanistan, urged to fight to flight, excuse me, because of oppressive, extremic administrations, both you and her, bravely and radically hands-on writing in the tradition of feminist avant la lettre, Farouk Farakzad, a shared call for freedom. I'm thankful to share the friendship between all of us, stretched over the world, from India to America to Holland, and yet, as poetry is capable to break through borders and hearts, also to Afghanistan, caused by your persistent activities to urge us, looking at the worsening situation of female Afghanistan inhabitants under the misogyn laws of the Taliban. Thank you for your calling, shout out, to wake up and not forget the Afghanistan women. Thanks for your enduring actions to unite poets in the immediate need for freedom of speech and space against oppression. And thanks for your, for your being critical on the Western press that, sorry, <coughs> the Western press that succeeds keeping the immediate worsening humanitarian situation for women out of our conscious because of other priorities, speaking about the Afghanistan situation. But your work 
is a priority. Thank you for fighting the war against imagination in Afghanistan. We are saying, let's not go to school. If you go to school, you start to understand the world. Then hell breaks loss, loose. We say girls are highly prized to pay the future. Or is the world a marketplace where you trade your daughters for sugar or sex? We say there is a dirt road behind the tents and the road is long and the dirt leads back to the war. Why would you go? <coughs> we say the shootings sound so loud, so loud while sleeping as in memory, but we are deaf from hunger, we say, and tired of wor worrying. Is there someone at school who al already recognizes the name Nadifa? born between seasons, anger and innocence. Then let hell break loose. The girls say whatever we girls say. Under the, blank, under the black sky, we hand out scent lamps. We close read the manual because tomorrow we break up the tents. Wij zijn toch even in het Nederlands voor. Mag dat? Dat daar. Somalische meisjes in Kenia. We zeggen, laten we niet naar school gaan. Als je naar school gaat, begin je de wereld te begrijpen. Dan breekt de pleuris uit. We zeggen, meisjes zijn duurkoop om toekomst mee te betalen. Of is de wereld een markt waar je dochters ruimt voor suiker of seks? We zeggen achter de tenten is een zandweg en de weg is lang en het zand leidt terug naar de oorlog. Waarom zou je gaan? We zeggen het schieten klinkt in de slaap zo luid als in het geheugen, maar we zijn doof van honger, zeggen we, en het toppen zat. Herkent iemand op school de naam Nadifa al? Geboren tussen seizoenen, woede en onschuld. Dan breekt de pleuris maar los. De meisjes zeggen whatever wij meisjes zeggen. Onder de zwarte hemel delen we zandlampen uit. We spellen een handleiding, want morgen breken we de tenten af. Ja, ik heb nog wel één. Oké, okay, deze gaat in hoge mate over de verbeelding. Als... Ik lees maar eens in het Nederlands. Learn more. Sorry, read it first in, in, in Dutch. Excuse me. Val je, learn more. Val je tussen bekentenissen naar boven. Strooi je met eetbare letters. Uitzicht heeft geen nut voor dieren. Andersom is niet waar. Genot heeft ons mooier gemaakt. Hoe je de rivier in je armen neemt. Halverwege berg en aarde bevrijd je je van de metaforenmachine. Iemand plakt letters op huid. Toekomende, voorbije, maskers, hoogte, deuken, maar niet alsof. Iemand vervangt bed door bekentenis. Dat weet je toch. Learn more to. If you're stuck between a rock and meanings, scatter with edible letters, a view serves the animals no purpose. Vice versa is not true. Pleasure made us prettier. The way you take the river in your arms, halfway mountain and earth, you free yourself from the metaphoric machine. Someone sticks letters on skin, Future, rightful, bygones, masks, hate, dance, but not as if. 
someone replaces bed with confession as if you did not. Thank you.